Big voluminous blowouts are all the hype right now. I'm gonna show you how I get that look using hot rollers. I don't have any product in my hair right now. I like to go in with a little bit of Olaplex 6 and then I mix in a little bit of the Olaplex number seven. I just like to use my fingers and comb that through the hair. And I focus this mostly on the ends so the top of the head doesn't get oily. Then if I have a little bit of product left on my hands, I will lightly start to run that through the top of the hair. And I just kind of shake it through. I got my hair cut a few weeks ago and got a lot of layers put into it and a few inches off the bottom. And this has been my go-to hairstyle. I'm all about thickness and volume when it comes to doing my hair, so I'm gonna use a little bit of Raise the Root from Color Wow. I'm just gonna keep sectioning the top of my hair and spray a little bit of that Color Wow spray. Sectioning that on the bottom and spraying a little bit of that in the roots. And what's great about these products is you can use them on wet or dry or damp hair. And then I just like to shake that into the roots. And to get max volume, I'm gonna flip my hair over and blow dry it down. and we should have lots of volume after blow drying. This is definitely a huge trust the process technique. And while the hot rollers finish heating up, we're gonna brush the hair out. And I'm using my frozen wet brush. Say hello to Anna. <laughs> So one big thing that I learned doing hot rollers is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Messy is sometimes okay. And I like to start at the top of my head. So I'm gonna use my fingers to gather a section of hair in the back. You can use a brush, a comb, whatever works for you. Brush that hair out. I'm gonna use a little bit of hairspray. This is from Authentic Beauty Concept. And spray a little bit on the back of that hair. And I'm gonna focus the hairspray on the ends. I definitely don't like super crunchy hair, so I like to start with a little bit and then brush it through. Now to see if they're hot enough. <laughs> they weren't hot enough a second ago. Ooh, yes, those are warm. <laughs> I will say it might take a few tries to get used to the hot rollers on your hands, but you can also use heat protecting gloves as well. So again, I like to brush the hair up and smooth everything out, especially at the ends. Getting a smooth wrap at the ends is the most important. I'm gonna start with the really large rollers first and I'm gonna wrap that end around the roller and just make sure those ends are tucked when you start to twist the hair. And this is a tip my stylist taught me. If you have layers like I do and you have little pieces peeking out, just use the tail end of your comb to kind of tuck those in. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Take your clip and then secure it. We're gonna do one more right underneath that one. I'm gonna grab a little bit of hair, spray it with a little bit of hairspray. Distribute that hairspray through that piece of hair, especially to the ends. Same thing, make sure those ends are tucked and then start to roll the roller back and just secure it with a clip. I always feel like the first front couple pieces are super important, so I like to take my time on those. A little bit of hairspray, brush it out, another one of those rollers, and just make sure you're tucking those little pieces and start rolling it back. Rolling it this way is gonna give you the most volume. And that's also why we're using the biggest rollers. And like I said, it's okay if they're not perfect. I have a little piece just hanging out here. As long as that bottom section is wrapped, I don't mind. And now for the face firming pieces. And this is the last biggest hot roller I have in this set. And I'm just trying to tuck all of those little pieces of hair and just clip it in place. Sometimes it's hard to get it to stay. We only have eight rollers left. We're gonna do four on each side. I'm gonna section each side into two sections. I'm gonna start with that bottom, add a little more hair to it. And I'll usually just clip this off to the side or dangle it over the top. We're gonna do the same thing that we did on top on the bottom. Spraying it with a little bit of hairspray. I just completely missed that piece of hair again. Brush it through. I really like when the bottom pieces have a little extra curl, so I'm gonna use a little more hairspray. Same thing, these rollers are a little bit smaller. They are hot. I'm not gonna lie, this is not easy to do without a mirror. And same thing in the back, brush it out. Little extra on the bottom. And I usually like to put the rollers in while I do my makeup or beforehand. That gives it a little bit of time to set. That should be good, we're gonna move on to that top section. One more on this side. I linked the rollers I use in my Amazon store in the description below. Only three more to go. I'm telling you, it really is so fast and easy. And once you get the hang of it, it's effortless. I also encourage you to play around with the way that you wrap, how much hair you use, how many rollers you use. <laughs> it happens. I have two rollers to go and only one clip. I accidentally broke a clip. I think I stepped on it or something. Last purple clip that we have. Oh no, I missed a piece. I'm gonna try to clip this in place using whatever I can find. I actually think I have a claw clip somewhere. I got lucky, this is the perfect claw clip, almost. And there we go. And then I like to take a little bit of hairspray all over, just set everything in place. I'm gonna let these sit for a few minutes until my hair cools and then we'll take them out. It's been about 20 minutes. They feel cool to the touch, so they're good to take out. It does usually take me 20 minutes to let these cool, but depending on the thickness of your hair and how many rollers you use, it might vary. 
Yay! Taking out the top is always the best part. And it's gonna look a little crazy at first, but I'm gonna flip my head over and shake these out. And these will 100% settle down. Look at the volume, look at the bounce. And to soften them a little bit more, you can even run a comb through them. And feel free to add a little more hairspray if you want some more hold. I'm gonna go in with the JVN Nourishing Shine Drops. This is a silky silicone free oil. It adds a really nice glossy glowy shine to the hair without making it oily and weighing it down. And I focus this more so on the ends of the hair. And comb the rest through the top. And there we go, super quick and easy blowout using hot rollers. Thank you so much for watching. I have all of these products linked in the description below. Let me know if you try this technique. Have a great day.